Hi everyone, so today I've got a kind of sexy, sultry makeup look for you. Um, I wore this out the other night and had a few requests to do it. Um, I don't do makeup looks very often just because I'm not a professional makeup artist um, and you know, there's I'm not perfect on technique or anything so please let me off if things aren't done perfectly. I just wanted to give you an idea of colours and things that I've used just so if you have a similar skin tone um, they might work well for you as well. Um, and let's get right into it. So I hate doing audio recordings, um, but here goes. Um, so firstly, I'm gonna use the MAC Prep and Prime all over my face. I tend to use this when I'm uh, doing a lot of, um, using a lot of makeup on my face. And then the Trusted Naked Palette. I love this palette. I thought I'd use this one because a lot of you guys have it. Um, and I'm putting Naked all over my eyelids um, just to give it a nice um, base. And then I'm gonna use one of my favorite eye dusts, which is Inferno by Sleek. It's kind of like a pinky, peachy color. Um, and I think kind of grey and pink go really well together so I thought the gunmetal from the Naked palette would work really well. And just make sure you blend, blend, blend. You guys know how it works. Just so you get that nice look. And then clean out all the fallout that you get. And then I'm just using an old black eyeliner that I have. It's not any brand or anything, it's just an old one but I absolutely love it. And I'm going to tight line um, and do my waterline. I tend to close my eyes when I do this. And then my L'Oreal Blockbuster eyeliner. And I'm just doing like a little flick, nothing too exaggerated, just very subtle, um, a little flick at the ends on both sides. Um, I'm not amazing at uh, a cat wing to eyeliner, I need to practice. Um, and this is a new um, I, I sh um, mascara that I've recently bought from Max Factor. Um, it's really good and just make sure you get all the little um, hairs all the way around. Um, my favourite Olay BB cream, I don't tend to use foundation and I really like this. It gives me quite um, light coverage but I don't really like heavy coverage foundation so it's perfect. I concentrate more around kind of the lower part of my um, face, just where I have a lot of darkness around my lips. And then one of my favourite contouring kits, the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. Um, and you guys know how this works. Um, I just contour around my cheeks, uh, around my nose, my forehead and my chin, just because I have quite a square face. So um, it's nice to kind of give it a little bit of definition um, and emphasise those cheekbones also my podgy nose <laughs> give it a little bit more of a shape and around the chin area and just around the jaw as well I did around the jaw but I didn't really show that because it went on too long so um, just everywhere you want to kind of define a little bit more um, and with my Mac Pro Longwear I'm just gonna highlight under the eyes, um, down the bridge of my nose. You guys have seen this a million times, you know how it works. I do love this MAC Pro, Pro Longwear. It's a great, great product and it does last all day. And this color is totally perfect for my skin. I absolutely love it since I got it, which wasn't that long ago really. Um, I've used it so much, I totally love it. I like to let it sit on my skin for a second, just let my skin warm it up. And I like to use my fingers as well, just because I feel the warmth from my skin, um, my face and my fingers just really helps it kind of blend into the skin a lot better. Um, and then using one of my um, new brushes off eBay, um, blend it all in nicely, just so it's all um, blended in. Um, and there you go. And then my Laura Mercier Camo Powder. This camouflage powder I've had for quite a while. I've really not used it very much, so I need to use it a little bit more. Um, just fixing all that in place so it doesn't move around. Um, and also that kind of helps highlight under the eyes a little bit more as well. Oh, and the MAC Bronzer in the colour Bronze. Um, and now I need to just warm everything back up again because I'm looking a little bit pale. So um, warm up the skin a little bit more um, on the cheekbones. Um, and then this NYX blush um, in a chiffon colour. I love this. It's so nice. It's a beautiful kind of rose gold kind of colour. Um, it's really, really beautiful. Um, just use that as a blush on the apples of my cheeks. Just get everything warm. And then my Kevin Aquan highlighter in, I think it's Candlelight. And the usual places, just kind of top of the cheekbones, bridge of my nose, um, and then on your kind of cupid's bow on the top of your lips as well, just to make them look a little bit fuller. 
you guys want more makeup tutorials, do let me know. Um, you know, as I said, I'm not an expert at makeup. I do enjoy doing them, um, makeup tutorials, but I'm just not fantastic, so I always feel like I shouldn't do I shouldn't do them. Um, this is one of my favourite lip pencils. It really is a, uh, a lovely pencil for dark pigmented lips. It just helps cancel out any dark pigmentation. Um, so I, show, I thought I'd show you a couple of looks with a nude lip and then a darker lip as well. I, I put my Genie lip gloss over the, the lip pencil just to show you how it would look with a, a lip gloss. My favourite lip gloss actually. And I think it works well both ways. Um, I, it's me wiping it off just because I wanted to show you guys uh, with the dark lip. Um, and here is my favourite all-time lip liner, which is Cherry um, by MAC. A lot of you guys know about this one. It's amazing. It's an amazing, amazing lip colour. It's really dark pigmentation. It's just such good colour payoff on it. There you go, and that's what it looks like. But then I thought to give it a little bit more depth and dimension, I'd put Rebel over it, Rebel um, lipstick over it, which I love. I've been using this combo for a while. Just sometimes I use it with Ruby Woo, so Ruby Woo and Rebel or Cherry and Rebel. I, it's hard to show on the camera, but it just gives it that kind of blueness finish, um, which works really well with tanned skin. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.